Hello everyone, it's K. How's it going today? So this is the 20th of January 2021 and this is on Wednesday. So every Wednesdays I talk about my strategy one by one every Wednesdays and Fridays and especially today I would like to talk about the importance of break-even line and also the timing when you can set the break-even line. So for those who are new to my channel, my name is K. Uh, it says here my name is K and I am a Japanese full-time forex trader in Tokyo, Japan. So in this YouTube channel, I talk about different topics, but because the main topic is about how to become a non-losing trader. To talk about the importance of non-losing trader, I talk about different topics every day. So I hope you enjoy today's video too. So before starting, just a quick disclaimer. This information is basically based on my experience and knowledge. So when you take trades, please do with your risk. So um, here's a real chart. Um, this is a euro pound and this is in five minute chart. And when you see, when I was seeing the downtrend over here, I saw that this was downtrending in higher time frames. So I think this is a great example uh, to talk about the break even line and when exactly you can move the stop the break even line and I have already presented uh, the way to put the break even line on this PDF so if you haven't downloaded this one yet please do on my website um, there is a website uh, there's a section where you can uh, scroll up and the free download and you can click on this um, KTS uh, case training strategy if you click on this one then um, there is a download uh, link so that you can get this PDF for free. And so this is a break-even strategy and this is exactly when I put the break-even line. And that will be when the market goes towards my direction after sell here. In this PDF after I sell here, the market goes, to, goes towards my direction. And once I see the next pullback, that will be the break-even line. I move the stop loss to break even line then. So in this real chart, uh, Euro pound, let's say you sell over here. This is a sell position, let's say, and this is the stop loss over here. So initially, um, you take a sell and you don't move the stop loss to break even line soon uh, because you wanna wait for the exact timing, right time to move the stop to break even line. And the right timing would be when you can confirm the downtrend in this 5 minute chart also. So if you sell here, that means the higher time frame is going down and you expect the market go down this way in this 5 minute chart too. But simply if you see the downtrend initially, um, you don't want to move the stop loss to break even soon because the market might spike upwards and you get break even trades many many times and you don't, you're not going to be profitable this, this way. So instead of moving the stop to break even line uh, you know, sooner, uh, you want to wait for until the market uh, marks a pullback. So in this case, there is a pullback right here. There's a pullback and there is also a pin bar over here. So when I can confirm this pin bar and pullback, then that will be the timing when I move the stop to break even line. And if you're using MT4, MT5, um, once you set the stop loss, then you can simply drag the stop uh, to lower it to below the sell position. So this is what I mean by the break even line. So that even when the market goes backwards afterwards, um, you don't lose any money. You can secure the capital and you can keep trading this way but once you lose once you start losing over time then your account size will decrease and then finally you may lose the account so that's why break-even strategy is very important as one of the risk management strategies so i've seen traders never put the stop loss or i've seen traders who never uh, set the break-even lines but for me, this is very important because, you know, I used to be a trader who never put the stop loss and who never put the break even line. 
you know, once I sit that, once I place a sell over here, for example, then it's either the market hits the target or it goes backwards and hit a stop loss. And that was my trade. But uh, if I keep doing this, you know, sometimes I won, but over time I lost, uh, I lost the trace because I never manage the risk. I manage, never manage the stop loss. So that's why I came to the idea of moving the stop loss, the break even line, exactly the right timing. So this is actually one of the right timings to set the break even line is when you see the pullback and when you see like a reversal confirmation and a potential down, potential continuous downtrend indication, then you can move the stop loss to break even line. And actually that's said on this PDF. That's what it says on this PDF. So yeah, so next time you take trace, uh, please, first of all, make sure to put the stop loss and then make sure to put the, move the stop loss to break even line like this so that uh, even the market goes backwards, it doesn't take it away. So um, the timing when I move the stop loss is like this when I see the pullback. And also um, before I go to bed, if I see the downtrend continuation, then I move the stop loss to break even line or when I see when there will be a big news in the market, uh, then I move the stop loss break even line this way so that um, you know even I sleep, even I'm on the bed and you know after I wake up in the morning tomorrow, I won't lose and um, I don't have to you know psychologically uh, frustrated by that. And also before the news, I move the stop to break even line too, because after the news, as you know, at the news, uh, you know the market becomes very spiky, so you might lose soon. And so to to prevent from these big losses by the news, I move the stop to break even line also. So, and actually there are actually more strategies as to this uh, uh, stop loss and break even lines, but this is the first step that you want to take tr take trace and first step that you want to try to secure the positions so never move the stop loss to break even line too soon um, be sure to confirm the um, indication of the trend continuous downtrend then you can move the stop to break even line so that the market goes to a direction without any uh, losses in the future so I hope you enjoyed today's lecture. If you liked it, please press a good button. And if you want to know more about the strategy and if you want to uh, learn the depths of the strategy of mine, uh, you can join the DTS class. This is a, a three month course up to five members only. And the seat is filling soon. Actually, I have already uh, three, three people, three traders sign up on this class. So there's only two seats left for this uh, April session. April, May, June, three month will be the next session. So if you're interested, please click on the link below the description and come to this GTS page and so that you can see all the details of what you can expect. And um, if you're interested, uh, please write me an email so that um, I can put you on the list. Okay, so thank you for watching until the end. If you liked it, please press a good button and make sure to subscribe and click the bell button so that you get notified as I do these lives and videos every day. So tomorrow, uh, on Thursday and Friday, I, I do the live stream exactly at the same time. So I wish to see you on the live. So until I see you next time, please stay healthy and stay gold. Bye for now. Mata ne. Thank you.